Hello and welcome to Hey Team TV. If you haven't yet done so, please give us a subscribe and a thumbs up. That would be most appreciated. As you can imagine, more bailing. So, one of those videos, same old, sort of similar things going on. Adam's doing something very, very different, which we'll see in a bit. Um, but we have just got to keep going because this area here, which was up to the bar of that bay there, that's emptying. That, I'll be honest, is filling. I've got to bring down more hay because there was double the quantity here, which was or has been reprocessed. Someone's turned the old Devon Skyball off because it is freaking freezing. It's absolutely freezing. It's stupidly cold. I've actually gone for full, full jacket. Ingerberg Strauss, if anyone was wondering. Last, well, this one's like, must be 10 years old. Last forever. Great, great kit. Charlie's in. Charlie is uh, putting away pallets for the weekend. It is the week leading up to Christmas. And, but I'm not stressed yet. But I've got a feeling by Friday, I could be a lot different. So, let's get on with this. Everyone ponder that. Is that you, my Santa hat? 
I will get this train loaded. But generally, at the moment, there's lots of loading trailers, unloading trailers, loading lorries. Pretty much all we're up there. Chief Batter is on patrol, aren't you? Where's two? Get him. Where's two? Where's two? So something I actually taught, taught Ryan to do is both down in the shed when we're moving pallets or up here when we're moving bales is I just pick them up, the dog will just shoot underneath and if there's anything under there, he usually catches it, which is pretty good. Bit of pest control. Hey mate! So, some of you might be thinking that it's very dangerous, the dog. Uh, yeah, it probably is. But, it's just usually me and him when we do it. So, I know where he is. I'm expecting him to do everything. Um, I don't know if you in the video, clip you just saw, I constantly will open the door and sort of tell him when to go. On a normal sunny day, I have the window open, I'd just be talking to him all the time. So, you know, it's not like he's working blind and isn't going or going in when he shouldn't, when he should be waiting. So, he's pretty good like that. Um, but, keeps rat population down, because we don't want too many of them, because they like any of you not in sort of ag, they can end up causing they can end up causing problems with like the north through strings which then they'll bust the bales just things like that just just things that end up causing us problems right i suppose i better get all these unloaded and inside we're starting to get a little bit of a bit of sleep down here it's absolutely baltic i'm sure you've always up north about this for a little while um, Southern Fairies down here, you know, this, this gets here a bit later, but yeah, we just don't like it for, for the nice glorious sunshine out the belt. So I'm going to get these unloaded. Bailing is flying. We are, or oh, I'm trying to pull out strings at the moment. So, anyone who's watched the video before, especially on hay, it's easier to make a loop and pull, pull the strings out with a telehandler than it is to do it by hand. You might say it's lazy, but if you aren't used to using hay twines and stuff, you pull it out all day, it just wrecks your hands. If you're lifting small bales all day with the fine one, that wrecks your hands. The big one, you pull and it just slides. You just end up cutting through here. <laughs> just easy to use a tail handler. So, I thought I was just saying, I was just had a phone call, been off. Adam's got a problem. So we're gonna shoot up and see him. So Adam is just walked down from what he's doing. And he's in here. All right, mate. Not really. What's happened? You know what's happened. <laughs> yeah, but I know what's happened, but they don't know what's happened. What's happened? The trimmers fell off the back of the head um, of the tractor. Is it again? Again, yeah. You're not in the best mood, are you? No, I'm really not. You're a bit stressed. 
perfect time for Christmas, isn't it? Oh, it's just, you can tell it's Christmas, can't you? One thing after another? Yes, it is, mate. So, I'm going to run the adder back up and we'll see what's going on. So, as you can all see, this ain't good at all. Top link's gone. As you see, this hole's getting elongated, but it's more getting elongated on one side than the other. Basically, the pin, so if you see the big pin here, the little pin, is snapped off within the pin. So as I said, the pin is basically, as a head from us doing stuff, the machine is sliding on this bit, snapping off. See that? Pin is completely sheared off through. So then that pin is then slid its way out. But we check the pins now and again, but never ever had a pin do this. Not a, not a small pin. As you can see behind me, they're slowly getting that lined up. Uh, Adam's got to take the PTO shaft down, cut it up, weld it back together. It's not, we're not going to work it with it, but just work it enough that we can fold the trimmer up because the PTO's bent as well to go with it. So we can do that and leave him the RTV because we're only a field away from the farm, but I've got to go down because Russell's arrived to load up hay to go out as well. So this, is, this day, oh well, this day is going real, real well at the moment. Like, as the saying goes, when it rains, it pours. And it is freezing cold. Freezing cold, and it's sort of a bit, I wouldn't say sleepy, but it is drizzling a bit. There you go. The old craneage going on in the background there. Hopefully that'll be sorted in a second. And back on. Man of the hour. He's arrived. Russell's wanted to be on camera forever. <laughs> He's always waving in the background or shouting. He's definitely not screen shy. So as it's so cold, I am going to load up with big JCB. So I've been in it all morning and it's nice and warm. And leave Wiz in the shed. Now, if you're wondering why I put three on the floor and not on the lorry, Russell and we all kind of like, in the pallets we have two by three. Russell and ourselves like the top bales, the top bales, or all the bales through the stack are stacked two by three, then two by three, then two by three, sort of repeated going each way. And on the top layer, prefers the three on the outside of the lorry so you can strap down through the middle bale. Because else if you strap through the two, if I tilt them back, you might be able to see. See what I mean? So if you strap through the middle there, you're gonna cut down between the two bales and cut through the plastic. Now if strapping onto that uh, middle bale both sides, um, that doesn't happen. You've got a bale to get the strap to uh, bed into down through and then you don't split that out with plastic which is holding the bales in if that makes any sense to anyone. Goodbye from ancient <laughs> <laughs> Russell's off, loads loaded, that's sorted. Oh, now I'm going to check on HRS and see how he's gone up there. Old man just came down to a second ago so uh, to do a, oh, actually HRS, I've just seen the RTV. It's down here. Prognosis. Broken. Real broken. Yeah. Rote off broken? No. Not rote off broken, but it's not going to work before Christmas, is it? No. So, if you get parked up and that's it. It is parked up and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do nothing with that. So, we're well, staying in the field. So, looks like she's going to live up there for a little while. Well, Obviously a drop because it's 
some of you are going to be going, oh, yes, oh, just, just go get another PTO shaft for us. That's what it goes, it's not quite... It's, it's, it's not, not more than the PTO shaft. Yeah, it's, it's not... Uh, it's always as easy as just go get all bits straight away. So, instead of rushing ourselves, you're kind of up to date and ahead on trimming, aren't you? Oh, where? Right, where? so... Like, we're not going to rush to get the parts, we're just going to get the parts as they come in and not stress too much about it because we've got enough of other things going on as well. But, you've got to stay up there, you can't fold her up, can you? Can you not have her? She's already been stepping here, she's going on a power still. Oh, you have to put her back down? Yeah, can't stay up. Oh. Nothing lines up, it's all a bit bent. Oh dear. Oh dear. McConnell, if you're watching this, why are your trimmers elongating the hole on the top part of the link? That's one question there. Well, yeah, we just, no one knows it, do we? we? Just The pin keeps moving and shearing off the lint pin. Yeah. It's, just, it's not tight, I don't know why. It's all been, it's all done by the book, so I don't know what's going on. You know, we can't even say it's a small tractor on the trimmer. No. The right tractor for the trimmer. Yeah. You know, we didn't have an issue last year. No. So, this mystery will continue until we get a solution and we'll sort that out quickly. So now you've finished trimming early, uh, is it time? Is that time? Time for? Turkey time. Turkey time. Some of you know what turkey time means, some of you might not, but uh, I'm going to leave this bit to you. Thank you. Here we are in our code room. Here are the first two that are all dressed and tied and all ready to go. Really, really happy how all this turned out to be. Obviously, we were never going to film the process of it. Didn't think that was right. We do have children following us and all that. And you're going to get all the know-it-all saying you shouldn't do it like that, you should do it like this, and blah, 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 blah. It really is not worth the hassle. So, the process is all done. The turkeys are gone. They are in this current state now, chilling in a nice chiller. Some nice sized turkeys as well. The biggest turkey we have is 30 pounds really really pleased i don't know what oven that's going to go in certainly not going to go in mine so this was 25 pound that one is 11 pound really really pleased gotta say really nice birds so that was a massive massive learning curve really learned a lot about keeping turkeys they are easy but what i have learned about turkeys is that they are like sheep really they love to die learned that um but yeah, they're easier to keep than I actually thought, but it's just keeping them alive. And they're the most stupidest animal I've ever, ever met. But there we go. Will I do it again next year? You're damn right I will. Certain things we would change, we, would, we wouldn't have done this year, but it's all down to experience. I've never had turkeys before. Um, so you, it's trial and error. You know, I'm bound to make mistakes along the way, but next year, possibly, could we wet pluck them or get a plucking machine? Who knows? So watch this space for next year. Me, Rich and Tiff are going to sit down and talk about what we're going to do differently next year. Do we get some more turkeys? blah de blah blah the usual, usual. And um, yeah, but on the whole, is that a light off there? On the whole, really, really pleased I was gone. So they're there, there. Let's shut these up for the night. Now, it's all about the cleanup operation for the other bits of the turkey. That's the only bit I don't like about it. The time, the prepping, the cleaning. But hey, it's what goes with it at the end of the day. It's not nice. I'll be the first to admit that. It's not nice how you do it. But the process was done humanely. And, well, you've just seen then. We got some lovely, lovely turkeys out of it. And I hope the people who do buy them off us enjoy their Christmas meal. Right, so that's me done. Well, that is a lot that's happened today. Uh, some very much unwanted things happened today. It's happened. Got to fix it as well as... Um, but again, product's still going out. That's the main thing. Uh, and also, real main thing is no one got hurt. That's that's the real main thing. No one got hurt. But uh, already spoken to the dealer we got it from. Someone's going to be coming down very very soon. I think even tomorrow, uh, late morning. So see what they find. Uh, but it looks like the A-frame in front of the tr trimmer is pretty much bent. That that's gone, can you new PO, PO shaft. Cables, wires, we've got extended cables and wires anyway, um, and pipes, so none of that's been harmed. Um, and see if she lives to fight another day. She will, she will fight another day. 
there's not that much wrong with her. She just lent back. Um, but other than that, uh, I'm going to leave it on this video. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. If you haven't yet done so, please hit that subscribe. Very important. Helps us a lot. Give us a thumbs up. That's amazing for algorithm. More people can be able to find us, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And, and if you want to see any more of us, you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, uh, and sometimes TikTok. But Instagram and Facebook is where we put things that happen more day to day. Uh, it just makes it easy for us. But until next time, thank you for watching. See you next one. Cheers.